so I wanted to talk about an actual actionable marketing strategy something you can start as beginner and I will help you from going from zero budget to at least generating enough budget for other endeavors uh, first thing you will need to do is pick your platform right that, that's the most important thing to do now I, I am trying to be as unbiased as possible I'm not biased at all despite having a strong opinion I think all three of them ERS, PCN and IO are quite well good in their own ways they have their own pros and cons I think what you should look at is more of the back end in this case and not so much the technology stack as that's gonna be more important for people like me who are a bit more tech savvy and who actually need to be on top of their well of their technology for example for me personally it would be easier to work with WordPress websites because I'm far more um, familiar with WordPress as most of my websites are hosted with WordPress now of course every platform has their own WordPress integration but when it comes to WordPress I think IO still kicks the most ass due to their integration with SiteGround but that's a whole different story then there's ERS they have their own plus points meaning they're easy to use eventually you know they have really good customer support they have a really tight group and well that their YouTube channel just rocks as you know it's it's really good um, BCN same thing that the owner of BCN or one of the owners actually is an SEO in itself like he runs an SEO agency and thus bases his platform on literally everything necessary to make sure that the websites have all the backend required for marketing in general which is quite awesome now for beginners I would recommend BCN for more tech savvy people I would go with either ERS, IO or BCN I don't want to limit them to just beginners of course they're all three good in their own ways from that point on it's really important whether you prefer the backend and whether it suits your needs once you have set up your website it's very important to start setting up your Facebook pixel and the reason for this being is that Facebook ads in itself, whilst being a great way of marketing, they require lots more testing. And the reason for this is that Google ads uh, require keywords and Facebook ads requires interests. And it's far harder to uh, accurately target somebody's interests regarding bounce houses. Right? You, you can say bounce house rentals, for example, or bounce houses as interests. But it's not really going to be relevant based on the current person's um, well need for it. While with uh, Google Ads, you can do bounce house rentals near me, and you will get literally everybody coming to your site that actually is looking to rent uh, bounce houses. That doesn't discount uh, Facebook Ads at all. Facebook Ads are still one of the most effective ways of marketing if you do them correctly, and one of those ways is by setting up your Facebook Pixel. And the reason why is because uh, it tracks all the conversion da data and you need approximately 100 conversions and once you got 100 conversions you can start with putting together a lookalike audience and from here on Facebook ads become more of a gold mine really because if you have a lookalike audience you can target exactly people that would rent from you right people that already converted based on that your audience is based off on so your ads become more relevant to the people you're targeting aka your costs are lower and your lead acquisition gets higher this doesn't mean you don't have to invest in any other marketing channel it's always really important to invest in multiple marketing channels so but the first thing you should do is actually set up your Facebook pixel the second thing is you should set up your Google My Business or in short known as Google Business Profile you can find the guide in the description or in this blog post whichever uh, is easiest for you Google Business Profiles are one of the quickest ways to actually get sales get rentals they are also one of the quickest ways to well, get a consistent flow of brand awareness going 
which is absolutely necessary. You need to build your tribe, you need to build a consistent uh, vocality about your industry, like about your brand, right? You, you want to be known in your, uh, your area. <laughs> um, that's really important, but also you can rank Google My Businesses and thus influence proximity, aka expand your parameters. And if you follow exactly what I have told you in previous videos, you will have no trouble doing exactly that. If your Google My Business is set up, or your Google Business Profile in this case, your Facebook Pixel is set up, and your website's looking really good, you want to make sure that your email marketing is set up. What I mean is you need a lead magnet. You want people to drop their information if they're not interested yet in renting from you. Truth be told, your conversion rate will suck. Your conversion rate will absolutely be garbage. The reason why is that most people, they don't rent from you on, on the first time, on the first visit. They won't. Most people don't actively convert on the first visit. That That's simply not going to happen. The problem in this industry is that most people, they think of conversions from the point that somebody calls them to when the rental actually happens. That's not a conversion. You know, that's closing the sale. The conversion is from somebody visits on your website and actually makes the choice to call you. That's considered a conversion, in a way at least. Then they become a lead. And that's what's important. You want to actively give people a reason to leave their information if they're not ready yet to actually rent from you. So that you can retarget them with email marketing or SMS marketing. You have awesome solutions out there such as EventHawk or PounceBot. Both are great. EventHawk is a marketing agency in itself. Um, really cool stuff. Really cool. Both have awesome things going on there. If you have that set up, then basically you have a good structure set up and you need to start focusing on active ways of actively getting leads going in. I mean, sure, you have um, your Google business profile, but while it will get you leads, it won't be consistent yet, right? Because you don't have authority yet. Best way to get active, um, an active flow of rentals going is by setting up your socials. It's really important. You need to start building your brand. You need to start building your tribe and Facebook Marketplace. With Facebook Marketplace, your leads won't be of a high quality. They aren't your ideal customer in any case, but they will provide you enough income to start investing in other endeavors such as Google Ads and Facebook Ads so that you can actually build a consistent flow of lead acquisition which is very important. If you have done that correctly and you're consistently posting on social media and building your brand out and you're building local awareness um, you should actively start looking at Google Ads and of course SEO though I am a bit biased by SEO as I am an SEO myself you need to start with SEO before you start with Google Ads in the sense of SEO is a long term as uh, process so it takes up to three months to actively start seeing good results from SEO and it's because you need authority right as a new website you're considered new and thus not necessarily yet relevant or trustworthy in the eyes of Google, which you can find out in the EAT video below. Um, that's why you need to start with SEO, because it will take time, you optimize your website correctly, follow the instructions in the book, and once you've done that correctly, you can start looking at uh, Google Ads, once your SEO is set up right, because you need to be consistent in posting, though having a good basic setup the foundation is really important and after that you can start looking at google ads because you need to run google ads even if you're actively doing seo you need to run google ads so you get a consistent flow of leads coming in feed your pixel through the conversions that you get with google ads feed your marketing sequence you know the event hawk or bounce bot thing or whether you use mailchimp or whatever solution and this way you have a solid marketing structure that lasts you for a longer time period and if you like this please leave a like and actually click follow on the facebook page talk to you later